Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, tonight we have two topics to discuss, including the food prices and the raping of the American citizens by Michael Fazio, and of course, the Zionist Jew newspapers that are absolutely dumbfounding the American public by not publishing for more than 15 minutes some of the most important news on the web, a.k.a. Jan Brewer suing the United States government for breach of contract to protect the borders of Arizona that the news media puts on board for 15 minutes, removes it, and starts putting stories about little puppy dogs on the front page. However, <clears throat> we are now experiencing something that will lead into Agenda 21. And on tonight's main topic, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, we have food prices and the fact that the Obama's new regime, an improved version of the baby bombers, which were sent to America to destroy this world's population and distribute it to all the countries of the world, are now set in place and in motion. Ladies and gentlemen, when in fact the wages of the American public have gone down between 10 and 40 percent, food prices have increased as much as 700 percent, bringing the total food price index up 1400 percent in some cases. And to prove my point, item number one, in the year 2006, the price of a quart of mayonnaise was $1.69. This comes out to 5.3 cents per ounce. In 2010, the, re the quart was reduced to 30 ounces and upgraded to $4.99. This brings the price of mayonnaise up to 16.7 cents per ounce, or a 300% increase. However, Based on half the wages, it is a 600% increase for a single quart of mayonnaise. My friends, item number two is the price of coffee, which has gone through the roof. In 2006, you could pick up a tin of coffee for $3 at 7.9 cents per ounce. In 2010, coffee has gone up to $12 for the same tin, bringing it up to 32 cents per ounce, or four times the increase, a.k.a. 400% doubled by half the wages or an 800% increase. Item number three is my favorite, of course, the price of potatoes in America. Used to be 89 cents for five pounds, bringing the cost of potatoes to 1.1 cents per ounce. But now the price of potatoes has gone up 700% to 7.9 cents, excuse me, 700% for a, an increase of 1,400% based on wages. Ladies and gentlemen, that's 1,400% increase for the price of potatoes. How can we sustain this type of price increase? And yet, the United States Mafia has deemed it reasonable to allow the Zionist Jewish media to portray food prices as going up only one half of one percentage point in the year 2010. I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, why do we allow politicians to make $1,500 a day plus perks, plus whatever they can steal, plus whatever the lobbyists slip them in cash under the table? Had this been an issue during the year 1775 or 1776, we would be stringing up congressmen from every yard arm in the harbor. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, I have no doubts that because of the prices of food, there will be riots in the streets of America, and this will allow them to institute martial law and eventually of Gender 21, under the guise of justifying political unrest, just as in the book, 1984, people will start to disappear. Lest we forget the Monsanto conglomerate taking over 90% of all small mom and pop farms who are now in control of 90% of the food pricing on the planet Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't be fooled into believing that this problem is going to go away because it has always been my prediction by December 15th of 2011 all the laws necessary to make this raping of America will be in place and legal and Congress will once again leave for their Christmas vacation and the news Jewish news media will not cover these articles at all and on January 1st of next year 
we will be raped once again by the political pundits that are robbing the American public for $1,500 per diem and doing absolute nothing to justify their insane wages. In the long term, of course, there will be riots in the street that will make the riots in Egypt seem like child's play. However, in my opinion, this will do no good because all it will allow is the fact that the New World Order will have gotten their way and an excuse to exterminate 90% of the world's population. So in the end, there doesn't seem to be a rational explanation and or conclusion to this argument other than the fact that these are, according to my beliefs, all going to occur within the next 11 months. And of course, at this time I must say God day to you all and I need to get a bigger camera.